All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video on the pricing series here on the Shopbox channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about two particular labor rates in Shopbox Pro. We're gonna be talking here about shop fabrication or your hourly shop rates and your installation rates. All right, so let's jump right into it here. So we're gonna access your labor rates by going up here to the top left and clicking on your name, going to POS settings, pricing and labor rates. So now that we're in the labor rate, the one that we have already built here that is called shop fabrication. And just to make sure it's shared with you guys, yes it is, it says share with Vox community here. So this is shared with you. All you gotta do is download it or copy it from the community and uh, you'll be able to install this into your Shopbox Pro account. All right, so let's jump into it here for a minute. So once we click on shop fabrication, there's a few variants here for the fabrication type. So we have identified a couple of different names, painting, assembly, fabrication time, design times, file setup time, routing time, engraving, channel letter bending, uh, welding, jewel lightning, electrical, laser engraving, and many, many more can be added. But those are the ones that we've added here for this particular labor rate. Now, so once you add those values, and th those values are the types of labor that you're going to be performing, you can then assign a cost and a price to each one of those particular labor times. Uh, so if you're Painting, you know, it might be 26 an hour, but if you're routing, because it's mostly a routing machine, it's going to be a little less and it'll be $20 an hour. So you can charge and figure out your cost and prices here along this slide rail for all of your different types of fabrication uh, variants. So let's see how that works when you're building out an estimate. So let's go in here and just create a quick estimate here and let's... Uh, you know, let's use one of the products that we've used before and we'll use channel letters. All right, so let's use this guy here. Okay, so somewhere in the required items is gonna be a labor, and it's a mandatory field for you to figure out. So here's how shop fabrication will look. So when you click on shop fabrication, it opens up this pop-up, and this pop-up here is designed for you to do incremental costing on your hourly shop rate. That means break down the entire project in its most incremental form. So when you start with channel letters, right, you're gonna figure, let's start with, let's say uh, routing time. We're gonna say it's gonna take two hours to route. Uh, channel letter bending might take another four hours to do. Jewel lighting is going to take a little longer. We're going to put that at six hours. Uh, we have to assemble everything. That's going to take another six hours. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of fabricating. Why would there be fabricating? Maybe we've got to uh, assemble a raceway, a fabrication frame, um, you know, whatever the case may be for your shop there. So we'll put that at maybe 10 hours. There's a little bit of fabrication time that's gonna be needed. Uh, we'll do some electrical time. We're gonna wire everything up. That's gonna take a whole day. So we'll do that at six hours. And right now what I've done is incrementally build out the labor for each individual variant or each individual labor task. So I have a total here of 35 hours. Uh, this is basically how much the entire job is going to cost me in labor, and this is what I'm charging. Now, if there are other things that you want to add here, you certainly can. If you want to add uh, an outsource charge, you can do that right here, a setup charge. Uh, if you want to basically bring in some other uh, types of costs for the job, you can do that right here. And once you hit save, okay, you're going to essentially be able to review all of this later on in the build a materials page. So if we just, uh, let's, let's just hit save here. I'm not really building out this product very well, but uh, it's quite all right. This is just the labor side that I wanna show you. So let's just answer some of these questions because it won't allow us to move forward without 
answering some of these questions. Okay. We'll hit save. Okay, so now when it takes us to the build a materials page, you'll notice on the bottom here, all of our labors are right here in this section. And it's basically saying that you have a total of 35 hours into this project. If you'd like to go back and edit it, you certainly can right here by clicking on the pencil link and going into uh, each one of the line items in their quantity and setting up uh, revising the hours. And quite honestly, if you want to go back after the project is done, you can also do that before you invoice this uh, estimate or this order before you close it out and mark it completed you can go in here and actually get a true cost for what the project actually took you to do in time in terms of time while we're here in this page let's also take a look at adding a installation factor here so that's another part of this that we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about installation uh, we have it set up called sign text installation here, but again, it's very similar to how the shop fabrication rate was built because it's built with variants because we have very different types of installation rates depending on what we're doing. So what we figure is a lot of you guys are set up with many different types of vehicles and the amount of installers will depend on uh, what you're actually doing. So if you need one installer, it's going to be cheaper than if you need two. So why not build out a installation product or an installation rate here that we could share with you all that would allow you to manipulate your costs and manipulate your prices and be able to just have a drop down selection when you're needing it. So in this case, we have three items here, a bucket truck, a flatbed truck and a delivery van. And we have all the way between one, two and three installers. Now, Let's let's get a little bit more intricate with this because you don't necessarily uh, need it to be unilateral. You can build layers upon this. Meaning, let's say you're going to have one installer on this job. That installer is going to drive the delivery van and you're going to need him on this job for, let's say, uh, he's going to be the lead installer on this. He's going to take three hours. Okay. But what I also need is I need someone to drop off the sign to him on a flatbed truck and that's only going to take one hour here so i need one person in the flatbed truck to deliver the sign and help him take it off the truck so that he can install it so now i have a one guy for one hour who's going to be driving this truck deliver the sign and this gentleman who is going to be driving this vehicle is also going to be there for three hours and he's going to be the one that's going to do the install so right now i have a total of four hours and about 160 dollar installation cost to us and a 280 dollar cost to the customer uh, you can also add some other fees here you know if there's rental fees for equipment if there are uh, items here that you need to purchase direct materials here that you need to purchase for the installation uh, maybe you need to, you know, I don't know, maybe you need to rent a lift or maybe you need to increase your insurance policy, whatever those costs are, those other charges here, you can simply add them right here uh, and you can actually add that to the total. So uh, if you want to add a, a machine charge for a rental and it's $150 fee, okay, it's going to simply add that right here from 280 now it's to 430 and you're going to hit save. And you're going to add that installation factor here right inside the build a materials page in shopbox pro uh, quick little tip for you as well you can build out the sign text installations or name it whatever you'd like um, inside the actual product so when you're building out your product you can actually start building out the labor just like we showed you in the example and also the installation. You can make it a separate line item if you wish, but if you don't, it's okay because right now this product is programmed to show up on the description right here. So you basically can keep it as one line item if you'd like, or you can build it out separate line item for installation that'll show up here for many of you that like to keep that separate because of tax reasons, whatever the case may be. But 
right now when you select that uh, when you make your selections on your fabrication when you make your selections on your installation variant labor rates it's going to show you right here i need one installer in the flatbed truck three for three hours i need one installer here for three hours in the delivery van it's going to break that down for you right there for the customer to see it says this, this does include installation and if you have it set up with all your pricing accordingly you'll be able to see everything here in the profit cost and margin side and know that what you're making on this job and what you're expected to do on this job and that's the whole purpose right we want to make sure that we get a high profit uh, job closed and we want to make sure that we do so in a timely manner in an efficient manner for the customer to sign off on any particular estimate and sales order all right so that's it for me this is peter karunas with shopbox i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about labor rates or how to set up installation rates for your shopbox pro account leave me a comment below uh, you can get me at peterk at shopbox.com if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one consultation on how to do that i'd be glad to set that up for you all right hope everybody has a great day and stay positive out there